Jasmine here, your um, spiritual life coach and tarot oracle reader. I'm doing a reading for Aquarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising. We're just going to dive right in to see what these mid-month energies are talking about. There's a full moon. I'm oh, sorry, a new moon eclipse in Sagittarius tomorrow. So we just want to kind of take a look at Aquarius' energy. I'm going to do a Celtic um, spread here and dive in deep <clears throat> about what's going on for Aquarius. I am Aquarius myself. So kind of see what's going on with love, work, leisure, life um, in this spread here. I'll just tell you what energies pop up. And um, yeah, I already did a... a, a cleansing of the area in my energy so let's see what's going on spirit let's let's get into the overall energies for the mid month of december 2020 what do we have mm, mental conflict so you're in your head about some things okay you feel one way about something and you feel another way about something it's like it feels like it's hard to really grow on one particular thing. This is really giving me eight of um, swords energy, like you're kept in your thoughts, right? And your thoughts are um, consuming you. Um, this also gives me to a swords energy where you're not really sure. You're so wrapped up in your thoughts, you can't make a move or you're not really sure what move to make or what's the best move to make. Or maybe you can even make a, the wrong move because you're just so tired of thinking about what you need to do. Let's see what um, counteracts this energy. Okay, you here. You have this um, acceleration of motion, okay? So you guys are trying to figure out how to get things done quicker, faster. Things are happening a little bit too slow for you. And it feels like there's so much that needs to be done that you almost like, it's like crippling anxiety. That's what I'll say. So what was, what's the present energy? I'm sorry, the past energy that will be present. Um, gosh, so again, um, I said you guys want things to happen quick, fast. And it looks like right now the energy that you guys feel like you've been patient, right? You've been patient. Like, I've been waiting. Like, is this going to pop off? Is it going to happen? What is the future energy? Okay. So, <laughs> in the course of waiting, it does feel like you guys are trying to block negative energies. It kind of feels like you guys don't want anything to interrupt what you're, the good that you're waiting on. So, it feels like you planted a seed here in the past. And you guys are waiting for the seed to flourish, to grow. In the midst of that happening, you want everything to stay on in tune to higher vibrations. You don't want to experience any negative energy. I'm going to actually clarify this temptation card. Because, like, while you're waiting, it just feels like um, you guys are also, like, trying not to get tempted by some things. Negative energy. Um, you could be going, letting go of addictions here. I did see that in your last reading. So it's like, okay, look, I'm trying to stay as far away. It feels like someone is trying to, it's something or something, something or someone is trying to darken uh, the path that you're on. It feels like you're trying not to be consumed by the dark elements of where you're at right now. Okay. Okay, so a lot of you are trying not to fail at something, okay? So a lot of you feel like you just fail. Like, I, I feel like y'all let go of something, and then it comes back around. I'm not going to lie. This this isn't the best, okay? Um, This could be a person, place, or thing. This could be a person that you let go of, and they're come back around, and you feel like, damn, I should have held out longer. I didn't held out. It just feels like... It could even be an addiction that you let go and you, yeah, it just, it, money as well. If you have a spending issue, it's something you're not going to be successful with. I could guarantee that if it says relationship, a relationship, a commitment, something that you committed to. You're not going to be successful to something that you told yourself that I'm not going to do this and you do it anyway. Okay. Again, person, place, or thing. Um, yeah, it, it looks like that truth comes down. Um, and But it feels like you dab into it and then you dab back out. What is, um, yeah, because then you have the reward card in um, up right here. But right here, uh, this victory card, it's, it's in reverse. So this is like telling me, 
it feels like you guys dab into something and then like it show you, you it's just like kind of like a more of a realization like damn so this thing that you're conflicted about it's like something you're trying to stay away from but it merges into your life it dips back in you go into a low vibration then you remember the commitment you had to yourself you remember to have patience you remember divine timing you remember to keep working on yourself but um, it does look like something seeps back in there. Uh, what's at the top of uh, your realizations here is recognition and reward. So whatever you're fighting for, your your biggest drive is to be recognized for something, okay? Recognized for, for battling the odds here. But I don't feel like it's easy. Again, this could be different for everybody. This is very general. If you're looking for a private reading, please book me. Your information in the description box. And my website is coming soon. Okay, Spirit. Okay. I feel like this has to do with love or something that you love. Okay? I really do. It's getting hot. I always get hot when I start reading. <sighs> this feels like you're trapped maybe with a past lover this feels like this feels like um you're trapped within your emotions and, and it feels like it has to do with a lower level um lover this lover could be like a sagittarius or a fire sign a leo um or taurus here scorpio um aquarius these are the signs that's coming up and it feels like something you don't really want to talk about um you might you might not be talking to it feels like somebody's about to dip back into your life and it's very uncomfortable energy uh, i'm trying to read it as best as i can this is telling me this is someone you was committed to you let go of that it was no longer successful and you're trying to keep them at bay you're trying to keep them out of your mind but it's hard to do so you're trying to move forward be more successful whatever your endeavors are and you're patiently waiting for this lower energy or just a temptation to be with them to go away you're looking for a new beginning it doesn't feel like the new beginning is coming as fast as you wanted to so you feel kind of trapped like is there going to be more opportunities is it going to be another person because I kind of want to, you know, get over this person um, by getting on top of someone else. It, I see some hope here, though. <laughs> I feel like someone just might be coming in to, to ignite that. But um, I don't know if you're really going to be into this person because um, it looks like your guard's up. Like, if you do find someone you're interested in, your guard's up because you're still attached to this energy that wasn't good for you if i must say so myself yeah so it's like you're battling how you feel inside and what your realization is um and also feel like you know that you are worthy um it feels like you want to be appreciated sorry um, you, yeah, like you're worthy. You want to be appreciated. <clears throat> uh, and literally, this is the energy that I felt here. I did say the Eight of Swords and Two of Swords with this conflict. Um, some hard choice to make. You could be going back and forth in your head. You know how that shit go. Um, when you're trying to move away from something, it's like you really are trying to break the habit. And you're trying to convince yourself. And you're hopeful that you can bring in a new but um it's not it's not as easy as um we want it to be it sounds good we can even be telling people yeah whatever whatever but um i feel a lot of this makes me feel like it's hard to get away from something that has it and it can even be because someone is attached to you as well a lot of us um pick up on other people's energy and we embody them as our own okay uh and then we it makes it even harder we might have some of that energy but th just that other person energy coming in a whole lot stronger amplifying your energies can make you want this person like they want you want you if that makes sense <clears throat> The full moon, e, uh, a new moon eclipse in Sagittarius here. Uh, so let's pull some moonology cards to see what spirit has to say about what seeds need to be planted. It's not really, um, it's a time to harvest, okay? It's a time to plant seeds, okay? 
it's a time to set intentions on what you want to see blossom, especially on the 21st. Um, it is a time to really, really get clear about this lower energy that's keeping you trapped in fear, temptation, and conflict. You really have to get clear about this right here. You, yeah, I see that you're hopeful, but you want to get clear about this because you do want this. Just a new fresh start, like spring all over again in the wintertime. But um, it does say a, a rough cycle is over, but you do have to release again. Don't let your past hold you back. So you guys um, are... You guys are coming into a new cycle, but again, it doesn't feel like it's happening fast enough. So as you're transitioning through a cycle, it's that tug and pull of residual energy. So planting a seed tomorrow will be of something you would really want to commit to. Um, for sure, you really want to um, bring that in so you can be successful. I feel like you will reap good rewards if you plant seeds about what it is that you want to change and uh, transform. Nothing, nothing is stand, set in stone. So this is saying that <clears throat> this is saying that this conflict, this fear, this this temptation is is going to ride a wave out of your life. Uh, and this, of course, I didn't put Aquarius. But this is Aquarius reading. If it resonates with you. Um, any reading can resonate with whoever it resonates with. Uh, I forgot to put Aquarius in the caption, but um, show the world the real you. So it's saying <clears throat> Sagittarius and Aquarius are very much so alike. Um, and this new moon is all about fun, living life, laughing, just really just being you. So it's just going in. Just going out in the world and allowing yourself to do things that you like, what you love, um, no matter what people, just being happy, you know, spontaneous, spunky, optimistic, and not going too much in the shadow side of that because, you know, everyone has a shadow side of what spontaneous and optimistic looks like. Um, let's get another um, advice card. Okay. It says, how can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire. Like I said. Um, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the will and trust so deeply that you tr your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet. But you know it's coming, which is this reward. Okay, you guys, like I said, you guys have been patient. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're so scared that this energy is going to rob you of what it is you're trying to accomplish. Like, damn, if I wait long enough, I might just go back to what the fuck I used to do. Is this even worth it type of energy? Um, so today's action is know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles. And that's what this is, okay? This is that miracle that's coming in, okay? And it's a really, really, really one that's going to stick because you're so patient. As you can see, these um, pillars here are very strong. It, it, this is something that's going to stick, okay? Um for sure. So it's like whatever was not successful in the past was it wasn't successful for a reason. It was unsuccessful because you're moving it into something that's going to more be more successful for you. And it's just saying like relax and chill out and do shit that makes you happy and not like in fears. It's gonna happen. It's gonna take place. Um, you know, you put your bid in. You play your numbers, you set your intentions, and there's a form of surrender that has to happen. You make sure you're charging up that energy, but you're not grasping so tight onto it that it's pushing the energy down. Um, it's, it, it's, it's a very thin line, okay? Um, I think we all have to find that 
line of uh, charging up what it is that we want to do, but also not um, weighing it down as well. So Aquarius, um, that is your reading for mid-December. I hope that it resonated. Peace.